Okay, Capricorn. So like I told all the other signs, I switched seats and as you can see, I'm a little lower and it's weird and awkward and I will be going back to my old chair. I just gotta fix it, but just, I look like a toddler or something, something weird. But these are just general messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what is going on with you guys this week. Capricorn, what do you want Capricorn to know? And I will try to go live tomorrow, guys. I will try to go live in the morning, but since I don't know what I'm doing with my youngest tomorrow, um, or when she's going to go to see her father, I can't guarantee anything at this point, okay? And I have been swamped, guys, with private readings, swamped, and I'm not saying I'm not grateful. I'm super grateful. Thank you so much. A lot of you guys are Capricorns. However, um... I have a 24 hour policy, you know, to get your first reading up. If for any reason I missed you this week, please send me an email, okay? Cause I have a habit of like, I make these lists and then sometimes the dog gets them or they, the you know, the wind takes them away and I can't remember who I am forgetting. So for Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising. Okay. Might be fighting some inner demons right now. You need, you know you need to, change direction to, to do something different but you're like you're really unsure of uh, how to go about it or what you really want hold on just getting messages I'm seeing marigolds walking away from a situation that's going to be very difficult for you very emotional there's a love connection there was an imbalance between the two of you they caused you to just not feel good anymore. They, you know, they didn't put in the effort anymore. We have um, healing energy. Could be a Leo. Doesn't have to be. What is this healing energy about? Could be, yeah, could be a fire sign for sure. You might be meeting a fire sign, Capricorn, okay? Or somebody with very fire-like energy. Somebody you find incredibly attractive. You'll be jumping into that very quickly. This is not something you're going to think about. You're just going to do it. There's some sort of judgment situation. What is that about? Use your intuition when it comes to a work situation. Whether this is your own business or you work for somebody, you need to be using your gut instinct on this, okay? Because there's something going on behind the scenes. You don't want to lose your job or miss out on some sort of opportunity. Capricorn. You are in the reverse. You are missing somebody. You're really missing somebody. You really want to connect with somebody. If you don't miss somebody, you're just really, you know, you have options, Capricorn. You have options, okay? You have a very giving heart right now. You're very open to potentially meeting somebody or getting involved with somebody but it's more of the fact that and if you don't want to get involved guys take it work related okay this could be like finding a new business venture but but it's almost like you're really struggling with what you want meaning you know there was qualities from other people that you want and the next person but then you're like if I get those qualities am I going to have to deal with the freaking negative behavior and red flags as well dropping a heavy burden Who's this Empress? Who's this Empress for Capricorn? Somebody you're fighting with, they're gonna, ugh. One of you is gonna really upset the other person. Could be an Aries, not necessarily, but I see that somebody is like gonna lose sleep over it and really be struggling emotionally. Um, this could be a family, friend, anything like that. We have a tower moment here for Capricorn. What's that about? Why is the tower here for Capricorn? Possible reconciliation could be a fire sign they're rushing in like a bat out of hell okay they they want to make this work are they trustworthy though they never moved on from you they're gonna make some sort of offering to you you guys could definitely be having sex but i don't see a good start over i don't we have the ace of cups in the reverse i think whatever issues you guys had and again doesn't have to be a fire sign it, it's not going to really change Somebody could be having a child or helping a child or dealing with a child as well at this time. 
doesn't look too bad. I'm seeing like almost like a gathering and reading situation. Like, I don't know, like when you gather your children around, read them a book or something. Getting out of some sort of funk after a wish fulfillment did not happen at, uh, for you. Could be dealing with a Virgo, not necessarily. Spending some time alone, trying to discover. Um, I, it's so funny. I want to say like the the secrets of the world, but I like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like you're spending some time like going down the rabbit hole of things that bring or are interest to you. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Capricorn? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Okay, I'm just going to tell you right now, this Ten of Swords is not like a heartbreak. It's like a physical ailment. I do see somebody having to have to like take it easy, whether this is a back issue or... Um, a sprained ankle, something of that nature. You have a water sign here in your energy. Who's this water sign? They want to reconnect with you over something, or this could even be somebody new that is manifesting you. And you are not ready for this person. They are... They are maybe a little too um I don't know what the word would be a little too like intense for you continue you're waiting to hear back from a situation whether it's work or whatever you don't hear back okay the, completely ghosted um, and I don't think you're going to be too thrilled about it. It's a, it's a financial thing. For Capricorn, what else do you want Capricorn to know? Something will be illuminated and it's going to cause you to have some sort of, uh, celebration with friends, with family, something of that nature. Okay. Um, I don't know. It doesn't look like it's financial. It could be for some of you, but I'm not seeing that right now for a select few of you that were involved with an air sign. It's a third party situation that will be illuminated. But for most of you, the majority of you, this is a celebration. Okay. You could be moving on with a work situation. You could be moving on from a person. You guys are celebrating it, whatever it is. You are going to be getting involved. I just want to say to you, Capricorn, for those of you that have like a wandering eye or, you, or you're not always like a faithful person, you're going to have to take this one very seriously, okay? Now, if this does not resonate with you and this is like you always get cheated on, you're going to have to try to trust this person, okay? Because they don't come in, they're, they're not here to harm you. Capricorn. You're going to need to move at some point, Capricorn, but now is not the time. Okay, I see it happening. It's just, uh, if it's not a move and it's a trip, don't do it now. Just wait. This is not this is not the week for it. Okay. Three more cards for Capricorn. This is a short one, Capricorn. I apologize, but I'm almost out of cards. Change is coming. You're in the upright. Change is coming when it comes to your money and finances. For those of you that are in a divorce, I don't see them getting anything or not getting what you think they're going to get. I think it's going to go in your favor. For those of you that this is a business partner, it's going to go in your favor. If this is a, um, if this is just a work situation, it's it's going to improve <clears throat> for you a, a great deal. Okay, getting over a broken heart again. You have to move. I see you moving. You could even be moving in with somebody. But now isn't the time. You definitely have a water sign in your energy, Capricorn. Could be any. Because you pulled Pisces, you pulled Scorpio, and you pulled Cancer. Yeah. This person, this next person's going to kind of turn your life upside down. Just be, you know, again, I don't see any like big issues with this person. I don't think that you have to watch out for them. I don't think that you need to be scared of them. I, it's just that, you know, with, with history, you know, we learn from our history. It's not because we're untrustworthy people. We just, we have been experienced it enough times to know. So you're, you just not, might not be prepared for it. Okay. 
All right, Capricorn, I hope this helps.